Hello. Good afternoon. Uh, this is me. This is Prophet Wes. I'm at you. I'm back again. And uh, the reason why I'm back again is because God spoke something into my spirit and I'm noticing something and I'm seeing something. And what I want to do to you today is to stop you in your tracks from making that mistake from doing that thing that you don't supposed to do. And you know you don't supposed to do it. And so I'm here as a voice of reason, as a prophet, as someone who loves God and who love you. I want to let you know to not look back. Don't look back. Don't look back at all. Because if you look back, destruction and danger is waiting on you. Hear me. Don't look back. That's actually the word that God spoke to my spirit to speak to you today. Do not look back. It's very important that you not look back. See, because your 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 blessing and your elevation and the things, your hopes and your dreams are connected to you moving forward. Are you listening to me? And see. I can see and I can understand why you would want to look back because where you are is hot. The things that you're facing, they are hot. It's pressure, lots of pressure. And so it's natural when you face it or you're standing in something hot to want to go to a cool place. See, but your blessing is not in a cool place. Your blessing is in that hot place. Your blessing is in that pressure rise place. Do you hear me? And see, in Genesis, listen, listen to this, in Genesis 19, Sodom and Gomorrah. Sodom and Gomorrah was a, uh, a city that God destroyed by fire because they rebelled against God and they committed all kinds of sins and wickedness and everything. And it caused God to get to a place where he was going to destroy them. And Abraham was trying to come and uh, speak and plead for they not to become destroyed. And he said that if there's 50 that's in the city, you will not destroy it. God said, yeah, if it's 50. And then God went down to one. And there was none, 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 none in Sodom and Gomorrah that was righteous. So God was going to destroy them. Some of the things, see, some of you, and see, you need to not look back in the sense that some of you keep praying for a certain thing to stay. You've been praying for a certain thing uh, uh, to stay where you are to keep doing the same thing you're doing, to get him or get her, or just stay in that situation. But God is saying, don't do that. See, because when you do that, you run the risk of God's wrath coming upon you. When God is chastising somebody, it's not wise to get in between God's wrath. See, because when you get in between God's wrath, when God is punishing or chastising someone or teaching someone a lesson, you must move out the way and let God have his work. See, because it's going to help you in the long run if you get out the way and let God move. Hear me. Hear me. In Genesis 19, you can go and look back. Sodom and Gomorrah. Abraham, play it. Play it. And then when they were going out of the city, when they were going out of Sodom and Gomorrah, God gave them an instruction. The angel gave them instructions. Do not look back. Don't look back. Keep moving forward. Keep looking forward. And that's why I'm telling you today. Don't look back. See, because behind Lot and his family was the fire because the building was being burned. It was being burned with fire and brimstone because God was sending judgment. See, some of you, there's some people that are up under judgment that are around you. This is why God is saying to move forward. Don't look back. See, because destruction is coming to them and, and you don't need to be part of the destruction. You don't need to be part of the chastisement. And so that's why you must move and don't look back. Hear me. Hear me. Don't look back. And see, the thing about it, it was it was a, a natural thing, a natural instinct for Lot's wife to look back because she the one that looked back. She looked back. And because she looked back, she was turned into a statue, a pillow of salt from that day forward. And see, the just, it was justified the reason why she looked back, because she had daughters that were married to men that were from Sodom. And so her babies, she was wanting to look back for her babies. 
But God said, don't even look back for your babies, but look back, but look forward. See, because if you look forward and keep going where and follow the instructions that God has given you, your babies can be saved. See, because just like God spoke to you, he can speak to them. Are you listening to me? And so the Bible said, you're not going to lose nothing for the sake of the gospel, but you'll receive a hundredfold in this time with persecution. No, when you do for God, then God is going to take care of everything else. He will take care of things, everything else. But I'm done with this. I'm done with this. But my last word that I want to say to you is don't look back. Because if you look back, you run the risk of turning or being stuck. This is one another reason why God don't want you to be looked back because you become stuck. God don't want you to become stuck. Because when you become stuck, that means you're not moving forward. And that means that you've been left behind. And God does not want you to be left behind in the season. Don't let your heart or don't let your emotions or your flesh block you or hinder you from what God has for you. All you simply got to do is fight through the feelings, fight through the emotions. Because the, the looking back and the sound behind you, all there are are distractions. It wants to get your, get your focus off of what God is saying to you today. And see, because God says today that you hear my voice, harden not your heart. Don't close it up because it could be it could be your last time, the last warning before destructions, before destruction. Hear me and hear me well. Do not look back.